So, anyway, just a uh, <coughs> good weekend, whatever. The team that I play for actually got smashed. I, I didn't play, that's why I think. 47 0, they lost. Joe, what did you do on the weekend? What was the score near? Lost, just about, yeah? So, you, you played for the first team. Anyway, there's enough rugby talk over. So this morning, I uh, I just can't be our setting profiles up, to be honest with you. So we're just going to build a corner each. Um, he's going to build the one in the front here. Because he's got a return like this one. This one here, and then I'm going to do the one in the back. It's uh, got a bigger return with some cuts in it. So, yeah, let's... Let's uh, crack on, basically. Oh, look at that for timing. Oh, that's a bit more wet, that. It's probably nicer, isn't it? Hey, Sean. Who's having a pay rise this week? Yeah, you. He's having a pay rise because he deserves it. He deserves it. And, in other news, this thing here, it's like there's someone else here. So I guess I'm not guessing. 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 I'm not as in, there's no more here. Um, so what I've got here in the in the in the soup, it's all what I got. So uh, Joey's still on his corner, I'm doing a good job there. To be fair. Hi, sound of it? Yeah. So we're just waiting on bricks. Try this bad boy out. Uh, give us one a go. Like a pig in shit here. Yes. Let us have a look. Oh, oh yes. Yes. You got vinegar? Oh, I've got it on it, yeah. The bricks are coming! The bricks are coming! Joe, the bricks are coming! Avondale strikes again. Oh my gosh, chips, grilled chicken, salad. Oh, oh, oh my god. Six, come on. Okay. Come on, seven, one more. Eight, eight, come on.
Jesus fucking Christ, that's how the only to see that. Oh, mate. Hey, 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 hey. Fucking first thing you do, eh? Cut it. Don't smudge it. Yeah? Cut it. That's a gold one. You see here now, yeah? Your perps aren't in line with the bottom ones. And to be honest, you might have to take most of them out. Because this one's been laid the wrong way round. Yeah? Um, Kieran, this is Kieran. He was on the thing the other day. This is for his first time probably ever laying bricks, is it? Bricks all my yeah. Yeah, bricks like this. Yeah. On, on site, this is his first yeah, time ever, site, ever laying bricks. And I've let him run in three courses this morning. Um, and to be fair, that, that little red is not too bad. Um, Fucking disaster here. Uh, and there. Not bad there. Yeah, it's okay. I'll see the site manager to see if um, if they're going to be hidden. If they're not, we'll take them two courses off, okay? okay. Um, but anyway, Kieran is on a trial. Kieran's on a trial because the college had got in contact with me saying that Kieran's doing an apprenticeship I've had a shave by the way yeah. Kieran's doing an apprenticeship with some bloke um, so he's been signed up now for what six weeks in college yeah. four weeks four four six weeks in college and he hasn't done a day's work with his employer doing an apprenticeship so and his employer is a joiner not a brickie and he's doing a bricklaying course, so um, they've asked me to give him a try. I've told him that I'm not really looking for anyone, but everyone's everyone's worth a try and a chance. So um, definitely fucking room for improvement. Uh, definitely, room. Yeah. yeah, but he's a good lad and uh, you know I'm pretty busy so yeah he's better off even if he spends some time with me until he gets someone else you know at least he's at least he's on the trowel you know it's his first he was uh, he wasn't with us yesterday uh, so he's in college tomorrow yeah. he'll be back with us on Thursday but you know he's worth you know it's worth giving these young lads a, a chance you know they want to work so um, right, anyway, so this morning I haven't filmed because um, the battery was dead, so I've just got all this brickwork in here. Uh, rather than setting up the profiles, because there's a metre box to go here, two metre boxes, so I'll just build. Uh, I built a corner this morning. And run it in. So I'll just build a block corner on this side. Um, and see where we are time-wise. We're going to be going on my uh, bike tonight, so I'll send you some footage of the bike ride. Yeah, not your average bike ride either. I've got an e-bike, mountain bike, haven't I? My pride and joy after my kids. All right, see you later. How do you feel, Kieran? Quite disappointed. Disagree. Disappointed. Aye. You know what? You'll look back at this, right? In fucking. If you want to become a bricklayer, yeah, you'll be one. And you look back at this, I'll be like, that's where I started. Everybody starts somewhere, mate. Aye. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, disappointed. Fuck, at least you're getting paid for it. I yeah. So is that your bricks you've got No, just stack them on that pa uh, pallet over there, yeah? Um, I'm gonna, I'm gonna probably redo it, to be honest. Do you wanna have another go? Do you wanna have another go? I've given you a chance to redeem yourself here. Yeah? No. Nah. Why don't you have to do one course, yeah, and instead of smudging it, cut it. Take your time. You know, your confidence is low, but 
Why don't you have another go? Don't don't be defeated. I'm not gonna fucking. I'm not mad at you at all. Ah, do go about just do it for you now and here now. Yeah. Come on, redeem yourself now, mate. Come on. Uh, I need. Just do one more course, yeah. I need another course, can't I? Go some more, mate. Yeah. Cut, remember, cut it, cut it, don't smudge it, okay? Cut it as well. All right. I need another course, can't I? Half a course, just okay. Just Right. Spot on, mate. All right. Come on. All right, Kieran. What's happening? Oh, half, half course. How do you feel? Oh my God, look at it. Ellie, right, see how your mood's changed now. Right, you've done half the course. Dun dun dun. Oh, look who's sweet. Oh, I've got that slow better. No, you had a bit more rough yeah, start, to be honest, but. Oh, yeah, that's loads better. The only thing is, yeah, yeah. your purpose aren't half bombed with a brick course below, yeah? Right. So you started to lose it here. It's half bombed here. And then by the time you're here, you need like brick on brick, yeah? yeah? So you need to tighten them up. Okay, so tighten them up, cut it. Cut it. Don't smudge it. Okay, loads better. Happy bunny? Happy birthday, good lad. Yeah, finish the course, yeah? Yeah. Is that over there? Anyway, Sean, teaching everyone today. So we're having to teach Sean how to use a hammer. Um, <laughs> oh. <laughs> no, it's a hammer. You hold the hammer, yeah, at the base. There, yeah. Yeah, but now I'm going to hit. I might hit the ball. Yeah, but you hit, go on, hit it. See how much better that is? See that then? That is an improvement. So I was trying to teach him, look, you, when you go eat Chinese, yeah, with the chopsticks, you don't hold them there, do you? No, you hold them like there, yeah. Like that, yeah. That's what I was taught in uh, China. Uh, China. Ooh, some uh, rice I can pick up here. Look. See? Latin we suck yan Latin we suck yan
road and bust it. I feel that extension there. And we're back to working in the rain. Yeah, so do you know what the uh, yoke is called in Welsh, Sean? Uh, no. No? Uh, the egg yolk is called melon with, I think. Which makes sense, really, because um, it's like melon is yellow and ui is egg and then if you add them together melon with it's like the yellow of the egg so uh, I quite like that word really Sean. Uh, what are you hiding for now? You ready to do this cut for me? You ready to do this cut for me? Oh, God. It is raining now, boys. Back. Ooh, uh, an isolated shower, I think. Either way, work has come to a halt. Oh, Joe, Joe, Joseph, Fritzel. Quite the end of the day, but it, it, it's getting there now. Uh, you see, Dolan, the joiner, he's packing up already. He's only just got his soles out. Anyway, uh, all I've been doing here is rubbish morning with weather, and uh, all I've done is just build these corners today. Oh, I missed the piece there, look. So two there, two on the other side now Sean's setting me up over there now with the um, blocks and mortar and all that so we're going to see that now Joseph has well he's done two courses up down here first thing whilst I was building the corners on the other side we all sorted over there Sean yeah, yeah? what time is it? Half past three. You putting another mix on, yeah? One more on. I think it's meant to rain at three, but four. It's gonna rain. Okay, let's have a look at these clouds. So what are they doing? So I've got one bucket. One bucket water. Well, yeah, it's not gonna rain, is it? Ah. 
Oh god, right, another mix in. Oh yeah, another news, right? Um Matt see there is on the footings. Uh, the site manager had asked me to do the footings on all these on the trench blocks, yeah? And uh, I, I'm i too busy with these, to be honest. And I'm meant to be starting uh, two houses next week. I've been fobbing him off now for about five weeks if not more and I've been using the baby thing as not an excuse but basically the houses are ready for me two houses um, and Matty so he's site managers asked me to do the footings yeah all these here um, I haven't I said yes and I'd sub it out and he was okay with that now um, can't be asked with the stress to be honest so I said look I know a guy phoned him but the condition is that when he's here the footing guy the other bricky that he doesn't touch my work the timber frame stuff and you know I don't go on his footings so that's agreement even if he needs a drop he's not to touch my stuff not unless I say it's okay or whatever yeah um, that's the deal and I'm having him to do the footings on my job, two houses, so he's okay with that. So he'll be subbing to me there. We've got two of the lads come in, not next week, week after. They're just going to be with me short term, just give me a push on everything I'm on. Um, there are two houses, well the house in Trader Bay are meant to be going back there this Saturday. Friday, Saturday, Monday, but don't look doesn't look like it's going, I'm going there Friday. We're going there Saturday, Monday. And the other house in Charlie Bay that we've been putting up steels in last video. He wants me to go back and do a little bit more. Well you know I haven't really got the time um, but I'm gonna have to find time. So yeah, there'll be another weekend without rugby this weekend. Maybe for Joe as well, I think. Um, so that's a crack there. Yeah, pretty much it. Uh, I have been thinking about other things and um, totally unrelated to brickwork, but I uh, don't know if I should be going into it. Obviously, I think a lot. Um, just get a lot of time to think when you're a human robot laying bricks all day and blocks literally mind numbing so you just end up thinking about everything um I'm just looking at an airplane over there now in the sky uh, probably get back from America America that's another thing I'm not allowed to go to America unless I have my jabs see the point of that I can't go into all this either because uh, it's not really a topic of construction yeah okay you know my views on everything is uh, you know well on everything's different anyway uh, I'm talking shit now so see you later Leaving site now, 16.39. Right, is that done and dusted? I don't know. Let's go and see what Joseph's done. I forgot to say earlier what he was up to, didn't I? Trowel's clean, get this bag on here. Point on now, aren't we? Right, let's have a look what Joseph's done over here. I've left him to it today. Measure points are. Uh, Reveals, you need to put these reveals. You put the horse hair brush on it. To be honest, I've got myself a good little set up here. I left him to it today. Um, I mean, Jesus Christ, look at it. Look how far he's come. Yeah, 
just started the third year. Okay, I know I should be beast sick by now, but I mean, I've left him to it. I haven't fucking interfered at all. He's done it. Yeah. This guy's gonna be a good bricklayer. I'm telling you now, he's gonna be a good bricklayer. Heading over to see Matty. My mate Matty! Hey. Look at Matty! Hey! How's it going? I'm on YouTube now, you know. Oh, yeah? Yeah, and so are you. Matty, oh, Matty Shagger, he's stored under my phone now. Because <laughs> this bloke, well, fuck, you know, what, what do you call that shovel? Oh, yeah, snow shovel, mate. Snow shovel? We were ploughing at the weekend. Fuck, you're ploughing up your nose, <laughs> you mean? <laughs> <laughs> right. Oh, concrete in tomorrow. Hey, there's good, good run for you here, Matt. Oh, I can have time, it is. Yeah, reckon, good know, run for you here, mate. Okay, I've been a bit stuck to start really, but good run for you here. Nice, yeah? yeah, good I'm run for you. Yeah, I'm going over to that job now in, in that, them houses. Yeah, I haven't even seen them yet, so haven't you? Know. No, right over and out. You right? Huh? Sweating your tits off? Yeah, it is. Look, hey, listen, listen, Kieran, yeah, send him, send him over to get a long week. A long wait. A, a long stand. A long stand? Yeah, we got one. Uh, don't the kids, grab it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Once again. Right, so. Hey. Kieran, yeah? He's gone to work for Matty now. My trial with him, I didn't really need him, so. Matt, he said, listen, this lad looking for work, he's a good lad, young lad, keen. Um, so Matt, he's taking him on. I think it's a trial, but I think he's taking him on. And he's uh, get a long, long stand. Don't go, long, 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 stand, long stand, yeah. Uh, anyway, I was handing him over to him this morning. I said, hey, listen, Kieran, come here. He had no idea, come in the van with me. He said, you go with Matty now. I mean, you're, you're with him now. You're in the trenches with him. And he just looked at me like, uh, like I was sending him to the front line in war, like, <laughs> like I was sending him to the trenches. Young boy, young. Do you have a long stand? So uh, I sent him up to the site manager to get a long stand. In other news, in other news, we're smashing it. It's the, you see the scaffolding we've got here? Oh, uh, it's like, uh, I've been a naughty boy and I've been put away behind bars. So, uh, this is the last gable end on these two bungalows. I haven't done much footage today, I was just going to do photos. Uh, because it's like Sean has said, just basically copy paste. So, nothing exciting. Just be putting her head down. Uh, to what? Ended, well, what time is it now? Like three. Three, three so. Yeah. Alright, I'll give you another video when he comes back, alright? Yeah. Down, have you? Down, I've got to pop up here, lad. You got it, yeah? Oh, I've got blocks on it, one thing. He's ordered it? Yeah. So you haven't got one? Nah. He's ordered it, is he? What does it look like? He's sitting with him and down, is he? Pretty nice to tweak you. Come on, you can't have a long stand. Come on, you can't have a long stand. Have you seen him, Time for me to get new gloves. They stink, there's holes in them. Sign of a good week. Um, just show this one. So basically the only interesting bit of the whole house, or the most, I don't know, technical or whatever it is you want to call it, uh, intricate. So come over here, Sean, to show the front. So basically, we got 
it's all getting cladded with this uh, stone clad thing, whatever, the, the tile looks like stone slate or whatever. So it's all block work, but because of the damp trays, I've got to put uh, bricks for the tray and the wheat poles, etc. So the front up to here is block work, and then there's like a post to go on here on the block work to take the lintel, and then there's block work up there. So they're not here yet, so all I'm doing is building it up to here on the both houses. So I want to leave here by lunchtime to go. Oh, yeah, and there's facing bricks uh, where the front door is there. So I'm going to leave here lunchtime to go back to Charlie Bay to one of the jobs in Charlie Bay and that, that'll be it then, just this afternoon, just filling in between the trusses, yeah? Um, and then tomorrow I'm going back on that other job that I waited 8 or 10 weeks or whatever it was for the floor joists um, to see if they've done their bit of putting the steel up for me um, and the pattern and lifting the scaffold yeah, and putting it, more steels in for me, ready. Um, I was wondering, when are you going to show your mug shot around here? Well, Gaylord. Hey, this guy here, right? Hey, he reckons he's the best hey. painter in the world. Hey, you can't be putting me Just in because hey. he's got hey. the Mona hey. Lisa as his hey. background. It's lunchtime on a Friday. I've done uh, one house, these bay windows now. Uh, to be honest, yeah? quite a bit of a pissing about with it and uh, it's good to um, do something a little bit challenging it's not very challenging it's, you know something that's different to just running blocking all day but yeah so Joseph's just getting a start on this and he's got his pizzas from Asda hang on so what you got oh We got here. Oh my god, it's Christmas. Oh yeah, it's just a, a nan full of lettuce for me for lunch. Yeah. Here's a chicken. It's not large, is it? Anyway, over and out. I'm gonna enjoy this. Right, Friday, I thought just about to leave. I'll show you what we've done. Uh, and then we've done, been doing a little, little bit underneath the soffit and so on. But uh, oh, we've had uh, some bad news. Oh, I don't know if it's bad news, but the bridge, Menai Bridge, we live, we work on the island here in Anglesey. And apparently, it's going to be closed until the new year. So see what comes out of that um, there is plans for another bridge yeah Bont Bendigate or something I don't know I need to get that sorted uh, yeah, we've had a little incident here earlier uh, I won't go into it it's not very really nice but um, yeah yeah help yourself Matt he's over there finished so right over and out done and dusted until tomorrow Hi, so we're back in Trailer Bay on a Saturday and I'll just give you a quick update of what we're doing. So they put up this pattern from here on that steel uh, oh, porch entrance, whatever you want to call it, yeah? So I need to bed underneath that wall plate. So there's quite a lot, really, it's a lot higher than the, the lower one. Um, that's why I wanted the pattern, really. We put this big steel in. Um, so, I think we've got two more courses. I've asked what the wall plate height is. He said just put an extra course of block on what's there. So, I take it it's that height there, not that one up there. Uh, I don't know. So, we're going to run in these. We've got two patterns now so I can do my cascading trace. I'll give you videos later on that. Um, yeah, the steel. So, they've put this in here, it's right in the way. 
and on here the whole issue was that the steel was too short and I needed to get a new one because this steel here it shows the wall coming to there on the drawing but the engineer's drawing shows this steel in the cavity not to take any block work so that's wrong so uh, I don't know I get one. Yeah, they did know about it only that is there scaffold spots on and I'll start on the gable end probably next week it's a bit too windy now so uh, Joe's got a rugby today mm. even though you know I did say I wanted to work all day but uh, he's not happy about that so he's going off to play rugby okay you better fucking win yep yep Hi. Hi. Righty. Doing cascading trees now, right? And um In a nutshell, oh. what you want ideally, yeah, off here is about 175 to the corner of the tray, cascading tray, because your baton is, say, 25 mil, your slate, I say it's about 40 mil there, yeah, and then you want about 150 upstand on your lead so you could probably get away 150 because it's blocked but if it was like facing brick you want 175 i would say um so if i go like this now where the block hits there 60 170 on that purple there i don't know if you can see it no okay so what i'll do then is i'll measure from there to there now, and that is 525, and then what I've been given are these things here. Um, massive, really. Usually, you just get like these are actually for uh, to clip into each other. Um, so, there's loads of these in the container for some reason. So, this is all we've got. So I'm going to use these and then I'll cut this down so it overlaps on the other one but then because this isn't a you know a book full block height so any water that comes you know if between there and the next block you could get water ingress here so what I'm going to do is use this damp tuck it into there and then tuck it on the next tray up so that and then maybe cut it and lap it under so that any water comes down hits this vertical one down the perp and then goes into the tray and then you've got a weep hole at the bottom there a weep hole at the bottom there so I'll uh oh, I thought it's down the Hi, okay so this is what I mean okay so this is the 175 then obviously the lead will be coming down so when they cut down here now um, I take it they will really they shouldn't be hitting this um, so this is the next block up obviously and this now I'll put that into there like that and lay a block there can't do it one handed four inch stamp would be better so I might cut this one down six inches so in a nutshell i'll go there just hold. i need a cameraman yes yeah, so the next tray will go on sit on this and lap over it so anything will just fall down into here or whatever anything on this side can be as wet as it wants the block can be piss wet but in here it has to be dry, so I'll go there like that, sticking down 
and onto that. That's the best I can do with what I've got. And I'll probably put a couple more wheat poles in here. Just at the bottom, you want to put more wheat poles than more than you can. These peat poles, whatever they are, yeah. And I usually I put two in the bottom, so this one's flying over. The next one won't fly as much, you know, just come over to whatever. Right, that is all, and then you go all the way up there with it. Usually, what I would do is you get these, but they're smaller and they're for bricks. And then, what I would do is use commons and I'd put a tray in every single course, so there'd be three trays in that one course of block. So, I'd there'd be I'd do it all with commons in this area and then block work around it. That's the right way of doing it, anyway. This isn't wrong, but it's better the other way and Joseph is laying there so yeah crack on second restack of the day Okay, just letting you know that um, I finished here for today. So that steel that was meant to get changed, they've put in the old steel, yeah? So obviously there's no wall to take that, but what I've done, I've transferred that level, bedded these pad stones. Um, we've done this wall now. So the top block on the inside is up to wall plate. So I've FaceTime Darren and he, doesn't know whether it's a four by three or two by four, four by two or a four by three normal wall plate but I'll I think I'm here Tuesday so um, anyway that's up to height blockwise yeah and then I've left the this one down one because he wanted it down one um, I've done these cavity trays okay um, right these cavity trays yeah um, you can see them here, so and then I've put a, a four inch damp I have, you can see it coming up and, uh, and then that one sits on top of it with a turn up here, yeah? so the turn ups are all here and it's at 175 off here because you've got uh, 25mm batten and slates, maybe 30mm, something like that and then you should have 150 for your lead. Now, these are all at 175 with my square so if you get the roofer to run a diagonal cut down there and tuck the lead in but not to touch not to cut these corners make a point of not to cut these corners i've i've shown exactly where they are here look can't miss them okay so as long as they go it's all in a straight line now just underneath that and then that'll be bang on that so you've got your weak poles at the bottom here yeah two of them um, okay and then next visit i'll tackle that um gable end and then sean said you'll come in tomorrow to stack out stack all this out for me yeah because we've had to load this about two three times today it was already loaded and then we've loaded it again and again so um right have a good one right we're just here now filling in underneath these and in between them yeah both sides uh let's do the uh utility as well 